Good morning, Bulldogs. For our special announcements, we'd like to send a special shout out to Ryland Art for being chosen as our December Student of the Month. Ryland's academic achievements include successfully taking several AP courses, being named as an Illinois State Scholar, and holding an impressive 4.852 GPA. His plans for the future include pursuing a degree in physical therapy or speech therapy. He is also considering playing football in college, but, in, but is undecided about where he will attend. Congratulations on this achievement, and good luck with your future plans, Ryland. We have huge news from the music department to share with you. For the first time in many years, we have two choir students representing Grant at the ILMEA All-State Festival in January. Congratulations to Miles Foreman and Zach Langhoff on qualifying for All-State. And even more impressively, the Honors Chorus. The Honors Chorus, which is the highest accomplishment at All-State, includes students who scored in the top 5% in their vocal audition. Make sure to keep an eye out for more information as we get closer to January 24th. And congratulate Miles and Zach when you see them. Our boosters need help covering shifts in the concession stands. Check out their upcoming events and sign up today. Not only will you be supporting your fellow Bulldogs, but you will also get free food. Check the announcements for the sign-up link. Yearbook spring inserts from last school year are now available. Stop by room 180 to pick up your insert. If you did not have a chance to order last year's yearbook, reach out to Mr. Schmedeke. There are a few copies left for purchase, and they're available for $45 cash or check. If you're looking to order this year's issue, check the main page of the grant website for ordering information. For clubs and activities, the cast and crew of Clue put on three amazing performances before leaving for Thanksgiving break and kept audiences laughing and entertained all night. From the set and lights to the acting and costumes, this talented group of Bulldogs put together a mystery filled production and we can't wait to see what they do with the musical in the spring. Speaking of the spring musical, Mr. Austin will be holding an informational meeting on December 18th for anyone looking to get involved in this year's production of Annie. Meet him in the auditorium after school that day and reach out if you have any questions. Our Talking Bulldogs had an impressive showing at the Hoffman Estates Turkey Tourney before leaving for break. Between the JV and varsity levels, we had seven Bulldogs placed in the top four across six categories. At the JV level, Aaron Neewame and Abby Sofsky earned second place for humorous duet acting, Abby earned third place for impromptu speaking, and Joanna Von Hohn placed fourth for radio speaking. For varsity, Allison Molise and Maddie Mesmer earned fourth place for dramatic duet acting, next in, and Jackie Benfeld took fourth place in original comedy and sixth place in the humorous interpretation main finals. We also had a first place champ for special occasion speaking next in, Sammy Hernandez. Congratulations to all our Talking Bulldogs on a great competition weekend. Looking for some awesome new grant gear that was designed by one of our talented artists? Look no further. NAHS is selling t-shirts and hoodies through December 15th. Check the announcements for their order form and payment information. Next week, NAHS has two events scheduled. On Tuesday, December 5th, they'll be holding a general meeting at 710 in room 108. On Friday, December 8th, they will be hosting a paint night for Grant families in the Commons starting at 5.30 p.m. An officer will be providing live instruction for their fun winter painting, and it's only $15 to participate. Check the announcements or the TVs for the sign-up link and reserve your spot today. The Snow Dogs are selling new spirit wear options. Check out what they have in stock and order a shirt or two. We hear it makes for good holiday presents. Their store closes on December 11th, so make sure to get your orders in before it's too late. Interested in starting a fiber arts club at Grant, but miss yesterday's meeting? Stop by room 272 or email Miss McKinney to get involved today. For athletics, we'd like to send a huge shout out to our November Athletes of the Month, Landon Enters, Lily Capalong, Clay Whitson, Olivia Farley, Emma Matoka, and Christian Whitcamp. These Bulldogs have put in 100% effort since their winter season started and have been great representations of their program. We look forward to seeing them achieve even more this season. We'd also like to send a shout out to our November Sportsmanship winners, Aiden Shepard, Abigail Hobbs, Kylie Baker, Peyton Akokaitis, if I pronounce that, I'm sorry, and Kelly Harmer. From day one of their winter season, these Bulldogs have shown a great deal of respect for their coaches, teammates, and opponents. No matter how intense a practice or match may get, they put their best foot forward and bring a positive attitude with them every day. Thanks for setting an example of what it means to have good sportsmanship and showing your fellow Bulldogs how to keep it red. Boys bowling program competed against Johnsburg before Thanksgiving break. Varsity beat the Skyhawks in game one by close to 200 pins. Lucas Hamilton started off strong with a massive 256 and Kyle Hobson followed him up with a 215. They kept their momentum going and took game two with a nice 214 from Hobson. They dropped the third game but won the series. JV also won their match with a solid and consistent performance from Chase Seven. The varsity squad competed in the Mundelein invite the following weekend and took ninth out of 19 teams. Hobson had a strong day on the lanes and finished 11th overall. 
The program went up against Huntley, and the Red Raiders put up a big fight. Varsity took Game 1 by close to 90 points with big scores from Seth Sider and Aaron Barnacle. Huntley scored back to win Game 2, even with Austin Merle, Hobson, and Sider all cracking 200. The Red Raiders ended up taking the match by 30 pins. Sider was the high roller of the night with a 635 series. JB lost their match by only 23 pins and had big scores from Cody Burr, Austin Hunt, and Logan Knuth. Knuth had a fantastic 583 series and set a new personal best with a score of 235. This week, the program traveled to ZB territory. Sider rolled a massive 245 in Game 1, but the ZBs outshot our Bulldogs by 184 pins. In Game 2, Hobson rolled a 221, and Sider put up a 210 to help match Zion's score. Zion ended up taking the match after three strong games. JV lost their first game and won the second, putting all the pressure on their final game. They ended the night with an overall win after big scores coming from Hunt and Carter Meyer. There was lots of improvement at the JV2 level from Elijah Williams and Tyler Ropicky. The next night, they took on Antioch and Lakes. JV and Varsity ended the night victoriously with a 607 series from Sider, 598 series from Hobson, big series from Ropicky, and a new personal best of 207 from Cameron Lazanski. Boys basketball hosted their annual turkey tourney over break, and Varsity started off with a game against Warren. At the end of the first quarter, the Blue Devils led by two points. At the start of the second half, Warren continued to lead 48 to 32. They continued to widen the gap with quick plays and strong defense, and they took home the win over our Bulldogs. The freshman and sophomore levels took home wins on day one against Comer and Woodstock. On day two, Varsity battled against Comer and held the lead throughout all four quarters to take them down 77 to 41. They ended the tournament with a game against Mundelein and fell to the Mustangs by only three points. The freshman and sophomore levels earned more wins during their tournament and ended day three in first and second. Congrats on a solid finish. This week, the program took on Woodstock, and Varsity ended the first quarter leading the Blue Streaks by five points. Our Bulldogs extended their lead throughout the game and ended the night with a winning score of 59-44. The sophomore and freshman levels contributed to a program sweep as they took down Woodstock 57-25 and then 31-24. To, to kick off their season, our girls' bowling program competed at the Antioch Invite over the weekend. The varsity squad racked up 4,689 pins with a high game of 871 and earned second place. In addition to their high team placement, the Dixon sisters secured a first and third place individual finish too. Savannah Dixon bowled a 1,215 series, rolled the highest game of the day, 268, and finished the day in first. Desiree Dixon bowled an 1101 series with a high game of 220 to earn herself third place. Our JV squad was shorthanded, but kept spirits high throughout the day. The squad was led by Clay Whitson, who was named tournament champion, with a high game of 190 and a series of 849. The program hosted their first regular match of the season this week against Warren and swept the Blue Devils. Great job on the lanes, Bulldogs. It was a packed break for our wrestlers as they competed in four tournaments, including a two-day varsity invitational. Varsity took a trip to Barrington High School for the Moore Prettyman Thanksgiving tournament. They showed a lot of strength through day one with a win over Buffalo Grove, a tough loss to Prospect, and seven Bulldogs in the quarterfinals. The team ended day two, eighth overall, and had four Bulldogs place. Congrats to Vince Jasinski for taking second place, Eric Rodriguez and Christian Wickham for taking third place, and Sammy Mendez for taking seventh place. Our squad of female varsity wrestlers competed in the inaugural Sandy Gasarston Wrestling Invitational and brought home two top placements. Congrats to freshman Riley O'Grady for taking second place, and to Milo Reyes for taking fourth place. The sophomores traveled to Wakanda for the wrestling turkey shoot and finished in fourth place as a team. In addition to their high team placement, Bruce Walker and Mikey Cronkite both earned titles. Congrats, sophomores. The freshmen kicked off their season with a tournament at Rockford East and had an incredibly strong showing across the boards. Congrats to John Von Hone for earning first place, Cameron Chavez for earning second place, Andrew Ocampo and Angel Meza for securing third place, and Elian Lemons for taking fourth place. If I botched that, I'm sorry. And Josiah Hagee for taking sixth place. Anyone who's interested in throwing shot put or discus is invited to join Coach Big Nace and Coach Lawdenstein for, for off-season weight training after school from 3.30 to 5 p.m. in the weight room on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Today, the girls' basketball program is traveling to North Chicago, and the wrestling program is hosting Maris. Tomorrow, girls bowling is competing in a tournament in Deer Park. Boys bowling has a tournament in Vernon Hills. Boys basketball is traveling to North Chicago, and the wrestling program is competing at home against Stevenson, Waukegan, and Buffalo Grove. Good luck to all our Bulldogs competing this weekend. You got this.
For the College and Career Center, seniors, if you are planning on attending a college or university during the 2024-25 school year, be prepared to complete the FAFSA. The application is expected to open by December 31st. Reach out to your counselor if you have any questions. For those needing a little extra guidance on how to begin a particular career path after high school, contact Ms. Bezura to learn more about the Bulldog Career Explorers Group. Through this program, you will get to collaborate with your peers, learn from industry professionals, and test your skills in a team challenge. Send Ms. Bezura an email or visit the College and Career Center in the library today. Well, that's all from us this week. Have a great day, enjoy your weekend, and remember, keep it right, Bulldogs.